Hey, it's Randy from UC Status. Today I'm going to do yet another video on this, the MX Brio 705, and this, the Logitune application. So for the setup, I've actually got a Brio 705 there actually doing the recording. So that's the video you're seeing. Actually, it's also the audio you're hearing. So I'm actually recording using the microphones on the webcam itself. Wanted to show you a couple of things um, that I never would normally show you, and that is the box. Given that this is ditch the box, you'd be very surprised. So I've got two boxes for you. So one is the MX Brio. This is the consumer product. Uh, so this is the box that it comes in if you buy it off the Logi website. Kind of a nice shiny black box. Uh, shows you the certifications in the back, team, zoom, etc. And it's a it's a box. So first thing I'm gonna do is ditch that box. Next box I'm gonna show you is actually the business version box. So this is the this is the MX Brio 705 for business. That's the site that I'm on. So it comes in a brown box. Less packaging, no plastics and things, everything is all recyclable and all that kind of stuff comes with a nice set of instructions actually in the lid to show you how it's plugged in. The only other thing that comes with either one of them, besides the camera itself, is the cable. So this is just a USB-C to C kind of fast cable, nice and thick, chunky cable to make sure that you get the full 4K transmission out of it. It's important to use this cable to make sure you get the full capability of the audio, the video, and everything else for the, the MX Brio or MX Brio 705. So don't lose this cable. Make sure you use it and plug it into a USB-C port on your PC, laptop, whatever. So I'm gonna put that aside for the moment. Next thing I'm gonna show you is just a kind of a close-up of the actual camera itself. So for that, I've got another webcam here actually on a product that I'll show you in a short bit. So here we go. So this is the actual MX Brio, a little bit more close up. So you can see it's a nice big chunky webcam. You can see kind of holding it in my hands. Uh, nice big lens, if I kind of come up there. There is actually a privacy shutter. So all you have to do is twist and actually closes the lens cap as it were. So uh, open it up, you can see it's 8.5 megapixel uh, sensor. It's actually a Sony sensor, ultra wide 4K. You can actually switch between different field of views. And I'll show you that in the application in a second. These are the actual microphones on the front, these things here, and it includes a nice mounting bracket here. So the mounting bracket is slightly different than you used on normal webcams. It is magnetically attached to the Brio. So you can see it's actually got a nice kind of metal thing here and it actually connects to a magnet just there. And there's a good reason for that, a couple of good reasons for that. First, I'm gonna mention this here is actually just a quarter inch thread that you'd have for any webcam or camera mounting kind of on a tripod or any other kind of mounting bracket. Then on the back, you've just got a single USB-C input output. And that's it, just some kind of text on the bottom and that's it. That's pretty much the whole kind of tour of the webcam itself. Now, if I show you the mount as well, so the mount kind of, as I said, it has this magnetic attachment on the front and you can see it's kind of a D-shaped thing there. So if I unfold it, the reason it kind of does that is for a little party piece that it has. And the rest, basically is uh, a sticker that you could um, reveal. It's um, kind of a reusable uh, adhesive, if, if you like. You just wash it and, um, and, and it's clean and ready to use again. I haven't actually stuck this down deliberately for this video. And of course it articulates to make sure that it bends to any kind of monitor back shape that you might have. So I'm just gonna stick this back on here and show you the other party piece. So the reason it's got this hinge, one is so you can actually aim it left and right. So a lot of people are using these kind of curved 
uh, monitors. I've actually got one with a slight curve and the camera that I'm using is actually curved uh, ever so slightly toward me. It's off center because this monitor actually has uh, a pop-up camera that is actually used for uh, Windows Hello. It's not a very good webcam that's built into the monitor, uh, but it's there you know, for logging into a laptop and that sort of thing. So I've actually got the MX Brio uh, off to the right of that. And of course, because I've got it off to the right and I'm actually sitting centered to the actual monitor, I've actually got it swiveled uh, ever so slightly so that it's actually facing directly toward me when I'm on video. The other thing, I would mention this kind of D-shaped uh, kind of um, uh, thing there, is uh, this camera has what's called show mode. So if you know the Brio 505 that Logitech la launched last year, that was the first camera that had something called show mode. It's something you can turn off and on if you want to, but show mode basically has um, uh, this unique mounting bracket and also an accelerometer inside that actually uh, can tell when the camera is flipped like this. So imagine this is actually on your on your monitor and that is you on video and you flip it down. What happens is the accel accelerometer inside actually inverts the image. So if you're using a whiteboard or actually showing a document, sort of like I'm doing here, what um, would happen is the image that uh, you're transmitting is actually inverted so that um, you know you don't have to draw or show things upside down. I'm not actually using a Brio uh, 705 for that. I'm actually using something else, uh, but the idea is kind of the same. So if I flip it back up, what happens is that the image is inverted again and that would show your face. So show mode on, kind of inverts the image, show mode off. There you go, that is the camera itself. The other thing I wanted to show you for this video is this. So this is actually something, it's a companion application called Logitech Tune. So the Tune application is used for, uh, for a couple of different things, at least in my case. It's actually used for a third thing, which I don't have connected right now, and that is also desk booking. Uh, I'll show you that in another video when I've actually got that set up. Uh, the Home tab actually shows you your calendar. You can actually connect the Tune application to your calendar. It doesn't matter whether it's Exchange or Google Mail, it will actually connect to your mailbox uh, and then um, uh, bring the meetings and other things that you've got right here. So this is kind of a companion um, application for your, uh, for your mailbox calendar, uh, which, is also very, which is very handy in its own right. You can also see I've got a Join button. So you can see I'm kind of hovering over the top and this is actually um, the join button to join a Teams. You can see the countdown. So the meeting is actually was scheduled for 1.30 in the afternoon. You've got 47 minutes left of this meeting. You can see how many people are invited. You can actually get at the link. Uh, you can open up and, and get details of the meeting uh, and so forth and so on. You can see as well, I've got a, an upcoming meeting later on. I've just put these in there uh, for demonstration purposes. I can also uh, open this down and choose another day um, and then see what meetings are in the diary for there. The other thing the Tune application is used for is to manage your devices. So if I click on the Devices tab, you can see I've got all the devices that are actually connected to the machine that I'm using to do this recording. Um, so I've got two lights, so the Lytra Beam, which is up there. And I've got the Lytra Glow, which is next to it. These are two lights I've actually got activated right now to make sure that I'm in good light when I'm actually doing this recording. Of course, the MX Brio that I'm using to make this recording, um, a traditional Brio 4K, which is over there, and then something called the Stream Cam, which is this camera here, which I was just using to show you up close and personal to the Brio camera itself. Right, so if I click on MX Brio, you should get a, a black image because obviously the camera is in use in OBS as I'm doing this recording. But what you can do here is actually make lots of adjustments to the camera itself. I can turn on and off something called right sight, which is actually used for automatic framing. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm stationary, so I've actually got that turned off right now. But if I enable right sight, basically as I fidget around, as I move around my desk, uh, something like that, the camera will, uh, will automatically follow me. So importantly, important to note, the camera can follow me, 
but it's actually done in software, this software. It's not something that's actually on a processor or a chip that's built into the camera itself. It's actually, it relies on this companion app. You need this companion app for other things anyway, so doing up, updates and firmware and uh, uh, also for adjustment of any settings. So it's a good idea to actually have this as a companion software on your laptop or your PC in any case, regardless of whether you use the uh, companion um, uh, kind of calendar thing or anything else. Um, there's also a lot of other adjustments you could do. So from within this, I can change the field of view. So right now it's on 90 degree field of view. I can change to 78 degree field of view uh, or down to 65. It's actually not reflecting because the camera is actually in use. I'm just gonna go back to that. I can adjust the zoom. Um, uh, when I do adjust the zoom, you can see I've got these cross crosshairs kind of sitting here that will actually um, allow me to steer, kind of pan and tilt the camera as well. I'm just gonna come out of that. I've also got some image adjustments. So uh, things like anti-flicker, not sure why that's on um, 60, but I'm just gonna click that down to 50. Uh, I've got things like autofocus, enabling and disabling HDR, uh, auto uh, light compensation and other things. Uh, generally, I just leave these alone because the, the wizards in the labs at uh, Logitech seem to know what they're doing when it comes to image uh, processing and that sort of thing. So I just leave it at the defaults and you can see the result is pretty good. But if I needed to, because of different lighting conditions or other things, uh, I could actually come in here and uh, twiddle with all these knobs and that sort of thing, but I'm not gonna do that. I could also go in here and do things like filters. So I'm um, not gonna show you uh, that, but basically you can uh, leave it at the original, make it brighter. You can have a, a, a different glow or a different color. Uh, you can go black and white and, that, and so forth and so on. So lots of adjustments in here. You can also uh, enable and disable the built-in microphone. I've actually got it enabled just so I can record this video. I generally wouldn't use the built-in microphone for calls because obviously I'm, I need to use a different uh, source of, kind of headphones so I don't get a feedback loop anyway. But I've only turned that on just to, to show you that I can and, and of course use it for this recording and hopefully the results will speak for themselves. Uh, and of course you can turn on and off show mode. So when I turn off show mode, that accelerometer and kind of um, flip thing that I, that I showed you would uh, be disabled. So if I did flip it down, then it would be upside down. I just leave it on just in case I ever wanted to use it for show mode. Of course, I can turn on and off the lights. Um, if I click on things like you know the MX Master, uh, that doesn't actually give me any settings control. The settings are actually done in another application called Options Plus, which I did a video on a couple of years ago when I first started at Logitech uh, to show you around the mouse and show you a little party piece about programming the buttons to turn on and off the camera and uh, mute and unmute your microphone. If I click on more details, we'll just open up the app versions and that sort of thing, just in case I needed to give that to you know, tech support or something. If I click on settings, that actually opens up the, the, companion, the Options Plus companion app. Right, so that's it for this video of the MX Brio and of course the Tune application. Stay tuned, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.